In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can get set up with IP Vanish on your Mac computer. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the desktop app and even watch the different versions of Netflix. And if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, I do have a massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we have to do is go and download IP Vanish onto our Mac computer or MacBooks. So if you click the link down below in the video description, this will open you in a new tab with a discount link. And from here, you can now go and pick your particular plan depending on your time frame and your budget. And then you can continue with the checkout process. So once you're finished with creating an account with IP Vanish, it should bring you to a page where it automatically detects what device you are using. And as you can see, it's detecting I am using a Mac computer. So it's prompting me to download the uh, Mac desktop app. So I'll just go and simply click the download Mac app. And this will take a couple of moments to install on my computer. So I'll check back with you in just a couple of moments. Okay guys, so now that's downloaded on the bottom left hand corner of my screen, we have the download itself. Or alternatively, we can go to the finder and then go to downloads. And from there we have the recent IP Vanish download. So I'll double click on this one. And this will just take a couple of moments to load. And now I can drag the app into the applications folder and that will go and install onto my Mac computer. So I'll just go and click and drag onto the application. So once you have that installed in your applications, you can now find it in the applications tab. So from here I can scroll down and find IP Vanish. So I'll now double click on this one. So as I've already logged into my account uh, with my personal uh, username and password, you'll just have to go and do the same. Um, so just simply insert the email and password that you created when signing up with IP Vanish. So now that I'm logged in, this is the user interface of IP Vanish. It is a little bit overwhelming once you do first use the app, but after a couple of minutes of kind of navigating around it, it actually is very simple uh, to use. So on the top left hand corner, we have our visible location. And on the bottom right hand corner, we also have the different locations that we can connect to. So if I want to go and automatically connect to a server, I can just go and press connect. And this will connect me to the fastest server closest to my location. Or alternatively, if you are looking to watch the different versions of Netflix, you can also do that by going to the drop down menu. And let's just say I want to go watch um, some TV shows and movies that are available on the American version of Netflix. I can just simply search for the United States, click on that location, and now go and press connect. And this will go and connect me to the fastest server on the US network. And this will just take a couple of moments to connect. And once it does, we'll start to see these kind of green waves of data, of data. And that just indicates to us that we are now connected. So as you can see guys, we are now connected. So what I'm going to do now is just simply go to my Netflix account and this will go and load me onto the American version of Netflix. And I can also go and repeat the same process for other platforms um, such as Disney Plus, HBO Go and many others. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go search for a particular TV show that isn't available in my area, which is called The Office. So I'll do a quick search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have access to this particular title, plus many others such as Better Call Saul, uh, New Girl, Parks and Recreation, Criminal Minds, and this is really only scratching the surface as to the content you can find when using a VPN like IP Vanish. So I'm just going to go do a real-time speed test uh, using the platform. So I'll click on this one. And again guys, this will be uh, in real time with no edits or whatsoever. And from my typical experience, it generally does take between five and 15 seconds to load. So as you can see guys, it's very easy to get started with IP Vanish on a Mac computer. And again guys, if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, then don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. And just as a quick side note, uh, with IP Vanish, you also have the ability of connecting to your iPhone device, Apple TVs, and also the Amazon Fire TV Stick if you are looking to unblock additional content on those devices as well. So hopefully this guide on IP Vanish for Mac computers has been helpful for you. If I've missed anything out or maybe you have a question, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.